All right, hey everybody. Um, we're gonna do just a quick recording here on PSVR Hype Day. I wanna tell you about the uh, the Canadian experience that I've had in terms of kind of getting ready for um, the launch, uh, finally, of PlayStation VR 2. Now that we have pre-orders done today, uh, it is the 15th of November, 2022. And I wanted to give you the kind of Canadian experience, the prices of the various things, what I think was necessary for me to get into it after having played a ton on uh, PlayStation, what was it, PlayStation 4 Pro plus PSVR 1. And I played most of the games that were out in that, and I'm very much looking forward to kind of three or four launch titles, plus others that are going to come a little bit later. So for me, I thought what I would do is just show you the, um, the kind of, almost like the build order, like how, how much each bit cost and what was the total, including HST or GST. I'm in Ontario, so uh, it might be a little bit different where you are, but I thought I would just uh, show you that. So let's, uh, let's with that, let's, let's maybe just stop this bit and uh, flip over to the other thing that we want to show you. Here we are. Okay, so PlayStation uh, VR 2, right? First off, just a reminder, this bundle is... Uh, you know, side by side, less expensive than the other pair because you needed moves and PlayStation, you know, headset and, and the, the camera. It was kind of a, a pavlava, uh, as some would say. Uh, but now that we're, now that I'm in Canada and I've sold all my UK stuff off, first off, just be aware you need accounts. You need not just a UK account, you need a Canadian account. Now, one thing that I will mention is that um, after having made a new email address, a new ID with Sony and had started up everything, with a fresh PS5, um, I was able to add my UK accounts and access those games and game libraries. Now they aren't forward compatible, but worth knowing that. Okay, so with that, let's start into the costs. Uh, what do we need? Okay, well, first off, you need a PS5. So the PS5 for me was, uh, I got a disc version used on Kijiji, one of our favorite places to shop, of course, or Facebook Marketplace. Those are two good places to pick up used kit. Uh, and that set me back 772 Canadian dollars, which I think was a pretty decent deal. I was planning to get a brand new with receipt um, uh, bundle. Maybe for 750, you can pick up one with Horizon. Um, but I was just like, you know what, fuck it, we'll just, uh, we'll go ahead and go for for PS5 disc version, in case I can find a, you know, a, a cheap disc for flat games, things like Elden Ring and stuff like that. So that was 772. Uh, the PSVR 2 itself, a little bit dearer. I uh, got it on Amazon, uh, pre-order this morning, 870, sorry, 847, 49. So basically 850 bucks uh, for the PSVR 2 bundle. I went for the vanilla one. I didn't get Horizon um, with it, the Call of the Mountain with it, because I figured I'd just buy that digitally later. Uh, short, quick, thing though my god the prices when you're used to like vr prices of being like 10 15 20 dollars maybe more um you know seeing stuff that's 90 dollars a pop it's like oh my god it's eye-watering so i do worry a little bit for finances next year but hey we'll get to that uh, the other thing is someone had tipped me off and said the 850 50 gigs of storage that you've got on board because like 150 is used up by the operating system you're going to want some m.2 uh, storage on top of that so i did add that which was a terabyte and you just as like an install so i went for a corsair bundle with with tax and everything came out to 192 dollars now again that's strictly optional but even after a day uh and the next piece of this i'll uh, next piece of this puzzle I'll, I'll i'll share with you why uh you know i had games to install why did i have games to install because i decided to opt in for PS Plus, the extra bundle, so you can get games, uh, access to just flat stuff at the moment. It's not the PSVR 2 catalog that I'm after. I'm just looking to catch up on, on non-VR, on flat titles between now and February, just to enjoy some things. I'm starting off on Returnal. I've got a bunch of others that have installed. Even Skyrim I got installed, but it was all included in that, and it works out at about 10 Canadian dollars a month, and I was like, you know what? Do I want to spend 80 or 90 on one game? Or do I want to spend, you know, in this case, 130 on a feck load of games? And I can play a set of Corsa Competizione and a bunch of other things just for fun. So we're going to do that. Um, grand total, bang, uh, nearly 2,000 Canadian dollars. Grand total is 1,941, leaving you money for um, the controllers if you want it. Now, for some reason in the pre-orders this morning, I was originally intending to get the controller dock. Uh, for about 50 or whatever, it's probably about 70 Canadian, um, but I, I, I couldn't. Uh, it wasn't there on pre-order. Amazon listed it, 
Uh, Best Buy also uh, had the two bundles. They had the vanilla bundle and the Horizon bundle, but that was it. So yeah, about 2K in Canadian dollars if you want to kind of take a decent stab and you're starting from scratch like I was. Now, I am super enthused right now. I have to say, I've played a little bit of um, the Astro. I like to call it Astro Bot. I don't actually know the formal name. Astro's Playroom or whatever it is with the controllers. It was my first time hands-on with a PS5. Um, the haptics are making me so, so happy. I'm sitting in a chair with double haptics. It's got a sub pack and a butt kicker. And I sit here and I love rumbling away. But like playing that at the fidelity of like 4K on a big screen TV with the 3D audio, like the spatial audio playing Returnal last night and, and Astro, it, it was just like, I was like, oh shit, I finally come home. These are the games. Oh yeah. And I saw someone on Reddit, uh, sorry, on, 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 on Twitter uh, say exactly what I think. Which is, which is, I think the Quest and PC VR gaming will get a good amount of use still out of me. But like when it comes to those polished experiences that you you pay for, and obviously I'm paying a premium for. I mean, in fact, you don't you don't pay you don't pay this much money and then just <laughs> decide you're not going to be gaming. But this this thing is really cool, and I've set it up in a way that like it can even be my entertainment system now. Uh, it's got the discs, so I can get like cheaper games on disc, you know, re- off the reuse market, which is nice. And then it's got things like you know Netflix or Plex integration. And I can just like watch films on it as well. So as a kind of like a standalone unit that you just plug in via HDMI to any monitor in your house. I've got multiple computers in my place, so it's nice. I can just set it up in the basement. I can set it up in my office. I can set it up in front of the television. And it's really tidy. It's two cables, a little base plate, and it just works. It just works. And you know what? When you've been a PC VR gamer, especially playing so much Skyrim and modding and stuff, when you're used to doing effort to get to your games, this honestly feels like the original Quest did again. So anyway, I just wanted to say, Sony... Jim Barnaby is back. Okay, I'm back. You guys might know I I, 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 I didn't rage quit completely, but I certainly had a, a go at them. <laughs> That's where the name Barnaby came from. Sony customer service wrote me, Dear Barnaby, about your complaints of Hitman 3 and why it's so shite. We have decided after five weeks of, of just pure trauma on the customer service end to refund you your 50 pounds. And so I did get that 50 quid back. I did get called Barnaby. And that was the birthplace of Jim Barnaby. Thank you to Nathy for for calling me Jim at some point. And then we've just fused the two together. I've been drinking skooma ever since. That's my take on Canadian PSVR 2. Uh, and look forward to playing it with you, for you, uh, in the year ahead. Oh my god. Can't wait. That's it. Peace out. See everyone on the next Zim Broadway show. Ah, 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 ah.